Welcome to the C.S. Joseph Podcast. I'm your host, C.S. Joseph, and we're doing more Acolyte questions uh, today. And today's question is, how can a 21-year-old ENTP boy break free uh, from their social media and internet addiction? Basically, how do ENTPs uh, get over addictions? And honestly, it's it's as simple as uh, trading one addiction uh, for another. That that's literally the basic principle. But while that's easy to say, it's not actually easy to do. And that's how we're, what we're going to be discussing in today's episode is actually what to do. Uh, Ryan Holiday uh, wrote a book called "The Obstacle Is the Way," basically. And you have to, as an ENTP, and he is an ENTP, by the way. I, I highly recommend you read his book, "The uh, Obstacle Is the Way," and also another book they wrote trust me i'm lying is is an absolutely amazing read i, I highly recommend that and all of ryan holiday's work uh, for any entp out there so what are you doing with your life you probably should read that oh wait reading that is one of the most important habits an entp should be doing and that's one of the ways that i was able to break my social media and internet addiction because i just spent all my time improving myself and making myself better honestly like you as an entp just got to get to the point in your life where you can accept that you are just fundamentally and will utterly be alone your entire life it doesn't matter how much family you have it doesn't matter how big your bloodline is it doesn't matter how many wives you have it doesn't matter how many children you have it doesn't matter if you are the golden child or if it, or if you are the black sheep of your family it doesn't matter what kind of job you have it doesn't matter how famous you are the reality of the situation is is that you need to accept that you will just be fundamentally alone your entire existence. ENTPs are too much, uh, too roguish and too uh, black sheepish for society in, in total that it is an entire problem. A good example of this would be uh, Louis Sachar's uh, book, The Giver, because Jonas, the main character in the book, The Giver, is an ENTP and uh, ends up, um, although there's a chance he's an INFJ, though, like, so take that with a grain of salt, but... Um, uh, but the whole point is, is that he did not fit in society, and he ended up being the reason society collapses, basically. Uh, but uh, and he was he was pretty pragmatic about it. I, I maintain uh, throughout uh, the movie is great with Jeff Bridges. I highly recommend the film, uh, but uh, but also uh, the book is also incredible. Um, and uh, but the point is, is that like the ENTP archetype in of its own right is the number one archetype that ultimately the people who are in power over society do fear the most and they should fear the most because ENTPs are the ones who are typically responsible for being the spark that starts rebellion. I mean, Benjamin Franklin, his brainchild was the American Revolution. He's the one who created the idea. He concepted it. He designed it. He presented it to other people. He is the reason the United States of America even exists. It's because literally he just imagined uh the usa and the usa came into existence because he worked towards that end literally entps exist to tear down society and blow it <laughs> blow it all away and reset basically entps are walking reset buttons it's just how our expert sensing demon actually works and that's the thing. If you have a social media and internet addiction, you have to be a walking reset button. The thing is, while you may just burn down your social media and internet addiction, you need to have healthier addictions literally waiting for you. So like, for example, reading. And one of the best ways that I enjoy reading is taking a wireless headphone or headpiece, sticking it into like an earbud or something, sticking it into my ear while I'm working or doing menial tasks and I'm listening to audiobooks. ENTPs have the amazing ability of multilinear thinking. It comes from uh, introverted uh, or uh, extroverted uh, intuition hero, right? And being starter types. And it allows us to split our attention towards multiple things simultaneously. So we can put our bodies on autopilot doing menial tasks while our minds are open and still taking in knowledge by listening to audiobooks simultaneously and allows us to save a lot of time due to this inherent level, high level multitasking capability, right? 
So again, it's all about, you know, that that is an excellent uh, habit to do. So, you know, addictions are ultimately habits, right? Addictions are just bad habits. Addiction is just a flashy term for bad habit. You want to have a good habit or a healthy habit waiting for you. Reading is one of them. That's one of the strategies you can use. Going to the gym on a regular basis, making sure you have a gym program that's going to give you a guaranteed outcome, making sure that you have the self-discipline to measure your food, for example, and track your macronutrients and all of your calories throughout the day and having the self-discipline to do that right? Having the self-discipline to practice at particular skills like playing pool or, or billiards or darts or poker, those kinds of things, Magic the Gathering, I don't know, uh, Krav Maga or uh, martial arts, all those things I, I do, right, as, as an ENTP. But the point is, is that like, I did have a social media internet addiction. I even had a pornography addiction for like four years, like when I was in high school. And I was able to break free of all those addictions because I replaced them with other addictions. Now, I will admit that at the beginning, I replaced them with some bad addictions. Like for example, I started playing World of Warcraft and that too almost destroyed my life after playing it for six years straight. And that became a huge problem. And then I replaced World of Warcraft with EVE Online. And I was playing that for many years as well. Now, now I don't really play games that much anymore. Instead, what I do is I conduct business and I, I have uh, friendships and relationships and uh, I, I, I make money, I, I design products, I sell things. I also uh, take care of my health, I'm doing research on that consistently. I read a lot of books. I do martial arts training multiple times a week. In fact, I'm going in tomorrow again, which I'm very excited about having that opportunity as I'm ramping up uh, to get back into uh, more training and keep training and keep training and keep training. So it, it's just, it's just, it's really important. It's really important to stay training. It's really important to keep going. It's really important uh, to just understand, uh, you know, it, it just comes down to having a replacement, right? You know, uh, it's, it's really difficult because NPs have very addictive personalities. And especially when you're an ENTP, you can have uh, the, um, you know, you can be subconscious developed, which means you're fanatic. You, uh, so your octogram, if you're an SD type uh, octogram for ENTP, you're very fanatic. And being a fanatic means you're very prone to moving from one thing, one addiction to another, you know, kind of like a virus is spreading, eating up something and moving on to the next thing. And that can be a huge problem. The difference is, is that you want to fill your life with good habits or good addictions that will never stop. I, you know, I, I try my best to read a new book every two weeks, basically. So that's two books a month. So it's about 26 books a year. I don't always get to do that. I mean, last year I did 17 books, but still, it's still a lot of books, right? And most people, especially ENTPs, are not really that well read because of extroverted thinking critic, right? So it's really, really important that you go out of your way to invest in yourself in that manner. It really comes down to level of self-investment. And that's ultimately what your introverted thinking trickster is trying to do as an ENTP. It's trying to figure out what are the things that I can invest in? What are the things that I can invest in for myself? And it's this constant, endless stream of trial and error, constant. It just doesn't stop. It just keeps going. All this trial and error, everything that going in every direction, it will not stop. It'll just keep going forever and ever. You have to literally trial and error everything in your life because as an ENTP, guess what? You can't learn from other people's mistakes. It is impossible for an ENTP to learn from other people's mistakes because of extra red sensing demon. They can only learn from their own mistakes. That being said, they also need to learn how to practice and practicing is important, like practicing reading. I mean, also like another, another, uh, addiction that I have is learning foreign language. Right now I'm learning Svenska. And then as soon as I'm done with Svenska, I'm going to be learning, um, uh, I'm going to be learning, um, yeah, I already finished uh, Castellano or Spanish, basically, and then I'm doing Svenska. And then after that, they're going to be doing Arabic next, uh, so that I can have the opportunity to conduct business in Dubai, right? So I, I'm learning, I'm learning all these languages, and that's another healthy addiction that I am going to, you know, have. Like, be, and, and it's super interesting because ENTPs can learn languages rapidly because we are triple systematic, and most languages are systematic, or at least language itself is a systematic thing. Uh, even though the English language is an interest-based language, but it's still ultimately following a human system of language, right? And because, you know, NTPs are triple systematic, we learn languages the quickest, right? We can ingest information, ENTPs can ingest information faster than any of all of the 16 types. And in my opinion, the 16 types combined, no one, no one can ingest and take in information, take in data faster than us. We just, you just take it all in. To the point, like, like even my INFJ, a mentor. I was in a grocery store with him one time, 
And uh, he's like, I'm looking for this one thing. And then I just instantly reach up and grab it and hand it to him. And he's like, well, how did you know that's where it was? And I'm like, well, the second I came here, I read everything. Just within within five seconds, I had read every single label all the way that was there. And he's like, he, he couldn't believe how quick it was. So then he decided to test me. And we went from, you know, and then we went from aisle to aisle. I was like, okay, well, find me this, find me this, find me this. And I would and just give it to him. And then that was it done. I just, I just knew where everything was and I read everything so quickly. He was just so amazed at how quickly I was able to ingest data and information and how quickly I was able to learn. My opinion, NTPs learn the absolute fastest of the 16 types with NTJs using their NTP shadows as like second fastest. And this is why INTJs pride themselves with being the master of any skill, etc. But that's the thing. Literally it comes down to mastering skills, mastering knowledge, gaining knowledge, etc. That is how you can break free from your social media internet addiction because your social media internet addiction isn't actually helping you. You want to have addictions, aka habits that are actually helping you. That's the difference. The problem is, is it's so hard for an ENTP to do that because we could be easily gaslit and having some really bullshit codependent Stockholm syndrome relationship with people, places, or things in our life. Basically, what I would like to call idols because we have this problem with idolatry through our uh, fanaticism side of our octogram, basically. Uh, it's one of the, uh, it's, uh, it's the um, subconscious uh, aspiration pull, basically. So when we aspire, we get pretty fanatical. And, uh, and when we get fanatical about these things, sometimes we can get stuck and it can actually turn into a very unhealthy addiction because we're basically the method actors of process, the method actors of system. We have to try everything on like a second skin. And then once we've tried it out for a little while, we have to cut away what we don't like and keep what we do. And this is how we're able to get through books so well. And we can read an entire book and we only really care about 15% of that book and move on to the next one. Well, there's people out there who won't even read an entire book if they know that they're only going to get 15% benefit. Why waste the time? Well, ENTP is like taking those little golden nuggets that we get from those books and putting it together and creating a whole new system that could potentially change our lives, the lives of other people. That's why it's super important. That's just an example. So yeah, that is how you break free of your social media and internet addiction. So hopefully that uh, covered this uh, question. So anyway, folks, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.